Hey guys, it is now day three in the Weld.com Fabtech cancellation series, and today we're talking to our friends over at Abacor Benzel. We use their torches a whole lot here in the shop, especially with their X-Fume system. Anytime we're dealing with anything that involves heavy smoke, so all your self-shielded flux cores, some of your metal core operations, and definitely anytime we're dealing with stainless steel with a hexavalent chromium. Uh, so this stuff actually sucks up all the smokes. So we don't have to breathe it in. We don't have to wear the cumbersome PPE because it's an at-the-source fume extraction system. I'm gonna let Abacor Benzel tell you all about it. A study done by the International Agency for Research on Cancer determined back in 2019 that welding fumes of all types are cancerous. Do you want your lungs to look like this? A fume extraction torch is the best way to reduce or eliminate toxic welding fumes, but there are some misconceptions about them. Some say fume extraction torches are too heavy. Not this one. Others say it will ruin their weld quality by extracting shielding gas. Also not true. Another one that I've heard is that fume extraction torches are just uncomfortable in general. And that one kind of has some merit to it because a lot of torch manufacturers out there will take a standard MIG torch, put a fume shroud, wider handle, and a vacuum hose on it without much thought and call it a day. When you're shopping around for a fume extraction torch, be on the lookout for features such as a molded grip handle, swivel or ball joint hose connection, and an optimal neck angle, which we've determined through extensive testing is around 60 degrees. These features will make sure that when you're welding with a fume extraction torch all day, it'll feel the same as if you're welding with a standard big torch. Look at this comparison of a fume extraction torch turned off versus turned on. Pretty big difference, right? The highest density of welding fumes is at the source, the arc. So it only makes sense to remove them from that point in the process. If you don't extract them at the source, the fumes will blend with the ambient air in your facility and higher volumes of air will need to be moved in order to extract those fumes, which means a more costly solution. Fume extraction torches are great, but that's only half of what you need to achieve optimum fume extraction. You also need a vacuum system that can provide enough power to pull the fumes through the system to be filtered. The minimum pressure needed to efficiently extract welding fumes is between 50 and 85 inches of water column. Without that, well, you've got a garbage fume extractor. The power of the extractor is important to get the fumes away from the welder, but proper filtration is equally as important to make sure all the particles are captured before the air is exhausted back into the facility. When you're looking at fume extractors, make sure the manufacturer specifies what size particles they can capture with their filters. They can say they capture 99% of all particles, but that doesn't mean much if the particles are one micron in size. For example, the filters in the X-Fume Advanced here capture 99.5% of all particles 0.1 to 0.3 microns in size. That's about the average size of a particle you'll see in welding fumes. Automatic starting and stopping as well as automatic filter cleaning are features that some manufacturers just don't offer, but they make a world of difference. They provide less filter changes, less overall maintenance, and extend the life of your fume extractor. Understandably, there are instances where fume extraction torches can't be used. For these situations, we recommend a portable hooded fume extraction system. Their mobility and adjustability allow the welder to take it wherever they need it. Although at the source fume extraction is always recommended, keeping the fumes in the vicinity of the welding station limits the surrounding area's exposure, meaning no more dark clouds hanging in the ceiling of your facility. For robotic applications, we have the X-Fume Robo the first of its kind at the source robotic fume extraction kit. Until now, fume extraction and robotic applications required hooded cells or large, costly essential ventilation systems, but not anymore. The X-Fume Robo is easy to install, and its low-profile design doesn't impede the robot's movement or access. Interest in fume extraction is rising, and for good reason. Keep your welders healthy so that they can keep doing what they love. Thanks for watching. For some of you guys that don't know, I'm a big fan and proponent of this stuff. As you all know, I teach full time and fume extraction is something that, you know, we as welders need to take very seriously. It's some nasty stuff. You don't want to breathe this stuff in all day. Uh, I really enjoy using these guns because like I said, I don't have to wear the cumbersome equipment. We actually did a video a while back debunking some of the myths about this system. So a lot of people think it's too heavy. Those guns are way too heavy. Man up and deal with a little smoke in my hood. Are you for real? The thing is way too heavy. So a lot of people are saying that smoke extraction MIG torches are heavy. Now it used to be true, but with the latest version of the torches, uh, we use lightweight uh, power cable inside and we did trim all the unnecessary weight so that the torch is comparable in weight to a regular MIG torch today. Or it's too cumbersome or you can't get into the right spots. All right, so last but not least, we have Briggs Murtaugh. Really? Starting to notice a pattern here. Big fan of lethal weapon, are you? 
He says, yo, brother, there ain't no way you're getting that gun in the joints I'm in all day long. Bro, you ain't getting that gun in them tight gaps. I'm well not all day. One misconception about smoke extraction MIG torches is that they are bulkier and you can't access your weld. Now, with the new design of the front end on the X-Fume smoke extraction torch, we use a regular nozzle. And so the first part of the torch is just like a regular MIG torch. We also have a small, slim, tapered shroud that comes with it. And so accessing a weld should be exactly like accessing a weld with a regular MIG torch. It's gonna suck up all your shielding gas. All right, so next up is Nestor Jedkins. He says, I don't have the money to waste on twice the gas getting sucked into my gun. That gun's just gonna suck up all your shielding gas and give you porosity. God, unlike my weld porn. Nailed it. And so we hear that uh, smoke extraction MIG torches are extracting shielding gas. Now with the new design of the front end, we've created a torch where uh, the extraction is done a little further away from the well, preserving the shielding gas so that it does not happen anymore. Also, on the advanced x machine, you have an adjustment on the power. So if you have a certain situation where you think uh, smoke extraction will cause uh, extracting the shielding gas, you can reduce the power of the vacuum. And if you need more power, you can always increase it back uh, to get the best smoke extraction possible. We actually did a bunch of demonstrations debunking that. It's actually a pretty cool video. If you want to check that out, click it, uh, click here on the card. Uh, for more information on the Fumex system, you can always look at the link down in the description. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, make every well better than your last.